If you ever step into a house and at the same time you are unaware of the fact that what can happen to you? Your presence can be felt by your weight on green grass. Even drones are there too. Hello tech geeks, welcome to the tech world. Your most trustworthy and thoroughly updated channel for all kinds of technological news, scientific discoveries and inventions, along with a glimpse of the future world. So hurry up and subscribe now and ring the notification bell to get all the updates. Having said that, let's dive right in. The world we live in may be frightening at times. Even low-profile people are afraid for their physical and virtual safety in the wake of high-profile crimes like Kim Kardashian West's armed robbery in Paris and almost continual internet pranks. Executive security firms have emerged to safeguard the world's more than 2,100 billionaires and their somewhat less well-off counterparts. As Patrick Doherty, Associate Managing Director of Private Client Services at 10-year-old K2 Intelligence points out, Customers with high-risk profiles are increasingly opting for open yards and low-slung fences like their neighbors, he explains. Unauthorized visitors should be directed to a small number of clearly marked entry points, according to Doherty's landscape design recommendations. Architectural companies like Philadelphia's Kieran Timberlake use aspects that are both visually and physically stimulating. The new blast-resistant glass sheaths from the same company are also being installed to home windows. Then comes the latest in high-tech equipment to secure the houses by installing a fiber-optic connection that detects changes in acoustics, such as one made by OptiSense. An alert goes off and the cameras are pointed in the right direction if someone approaches within 30 feet of the cable buried around your property. There are cameras that employ heat detection and night vision that are disguised and use AI and analytics to identify the difference between a falling leaf and an offending deer. To find photographers lurking in the dense grass of an A-list celebrity's large estate, a thermal payload is employed on a drone. According to him, the OptiSense connection provided the drone with exact GPS coordinates so that it could lead security crews. Aaron Cohen, the founder of security firm Cherries, which provides personal details to such famous faces as Kate Moss and Kardashian West, post-Paris, has even started taking along modestly priced ring solar-powered cameras when traveling. Some residential surveillance systems have become so simple to use that in and outside the client's hotel room, he installs a half dozen of them, which he can monitor through an app on his phone. When it comes to smart home security, there's no shortage of competition. Honeywell just spun out a new firm called Residio and Cocoon, which uses artificial intelligence to identify strange noises and then notifies your smartphone are just some of the newcomers. There are a wide variety of security options available if someone manages to get beyond the boundary. The license plates of any arriving vehicles will be captured and traced by Intellivision. Princeton Identity's biometric locks employ face recognition to access doors, while Secure ID just needs a touch to open. If developers use FST21's practically unhackable keyless access, dubbed Digital Doorman, which recognizes inhabitants' identification via biometrics without their even slowing down their speed, strangers can't get admission into a condo complex full of moguls. A duress code may be programmed into almost any home or apartment security system, allowing the owner to silence the alarm while simultaneously secretly calling the police. While away on vacation, homeowners may set their lighting systems to come on automatically at dusk. According to experts, unanticipated natural catastrophes have become a growing issue for customers throughout the globe. Generators and satellite phones serve as backups. They are unlikely to enter those high-tech fortifications, but if they do, they may find themselves buried in a thick mist of security and surveillance. Fog machines, such as those made by ADT, may generate a haze so dense that it reduces vision to 10 centimeters or less without harming the contents of the building. Owners may simply attach tiny magnets to valuables and the system's sensors will detect the slightest of movements and warn authorities while reducing false alarms. To put it another way, cyber attacks may have devastating implications since we've never been more linked internationally. According to Juniper Research, 12 billion records were stolen worldwide last year and that number is expected to rise to 33 billion yearly in four years. According to Javelin Strategy and Research, 16.7 million U.S. customers had their identities stolen in a single year, resulting in a loss of $16.8 billion. You're not exempt from this. Passwords, bank accounts, vacation reservations, and social security numbers may all be accessed by hackers. Your company's stock price and reputation might be destroyed by a hacker seizing control of your social media accounts. Hence, 
the need for real-time threat monitoring and worldwide cybersecurity services, like those provided by WorldAware. Since its inception, Bruce McKindo's organization has provided the same services as government intelligence agencies, while also allowing users to move freely and lawfully across nations. Some crucial methods are put into place long before they are used to assist negotiate ransoms for kidnap people or guide clients away from violence that is about to occur. A minimum of two phones is given to each customer by him. In China or elsewhere, there's nothing on there that can be compromised, he argues, since it's a burner. A Google Voice number, which can filter out spam from your mobile phone, as well as any callers who aren't part of your chosen circle, an email address that doesn't use your real name, a virtual mailbox that can forward snail mail anywhere in the world or scan it to read it digitally, and an account with privacy, are all suggestions made by Mckindo to protect clients from hacker breaches. The former NSA and CIA contractor Mckindo claims that no charges can be brought against his assets. As a result, I'm unconcerned about incidents like the Starwood Compromise. No one, or anything, can harm me. Every gadget, argues K2 Intelligence's Doherty, is like a radio sending data. Homeowners, he adds, should consider if the convenience of an Alexa is worth the danger of having a listening device on all the time. If a smart speaker isn't an option, a powerful home network should feature a corporate-grade firewall and a miniature network security monitor, as well as a separate network only for visitors. Doherty recommends using a VPN to secure data. Fortinet, a supplier of cybersecurity software and services, is a popular choice among experts because of its use of predictive analytics to identify and eliminate malware and breaches on connected devices and cloud servers. Checkpoint and SonicWall are two more prominent commercial firewalls that work well for residential usage. Most experts agree that regular reviews of cybersecurity are necessary to provide a well-balanced defense. Even if someone is asking millions of dollars for Instagram endorsements, as Cherry's Aaron Cohen's client Kardashian West does, that's her job, and her digital security better be even better, says Cohen. Even though Cohen's clientele are well-known, he seldom uses armored cars to transport them from airports to hotels to fashion shows. If you're going to Iraq or Syria, you don't need all that, he argues. The typical baller is not going. For his advanced teaming, instead of going door-to-door -to, -door to check for listening devices, he uses a team of counter-surveillance experts to sweep the hotels and install cameras and recruit security guards trained in predictive behavior profiling and combat. During meetings, a counter-surveillance car accompanies the client and maintains an eye on the front door. Do you think that this much security is required? Let us know in the comments section what you think. With that, we will end this video today. I hope you enjoyed this one too. If so, don't hesitate to let us know by giving it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more to come. We'll meet again at the next one. Until then, peace.